Matt asked me to say just a word about the program before uh, we have a prayer. And the word that I've chosen to describe what this program is, is the word entrance. Now you know what an entrance is. It's an opening where you can come into something. This program, for years and years and years, has been an entrance for young men and young women to enter into an arena that we know of as excellence. You know, it started years ago with Alf Anderson. Bill Chappell came along and built upon what Alf started. Bill McManus came along. Coach McClurg, who had been here all along, stepped into the helm. Adam Weingarten took over. And now Matt has taken over. And it's all about excellence. And it's about giving our kids an opportunity to enter into an arena where they can taste and see and experience excellence. Our program has two prongs to it that help us to be excellent. One is grace, the other is glory. This program, like no other program, gives kids an opportunity to experience an unconditional acceptance. It doesn't matter what side of the track you're from. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It really doesn't even matter what level your athletic ability is. The thing that has girded this from day one has been come. If you want to experience excellence, come and we'll work with you and we'll shape you into someone who can achieve excellence. Unconditional acceptance. Now I'm the chaplain so I can get away with this. I believe that that unconditional acceptance comes from another guy that the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. One of the reasons I'm still involved with this program is I was a recipient of unconditional acceptance. That has to be first. These kids have to know that they're loved and they're accepted. That red jacket they got on takes away all class. They all look the same. They have equality. Acceptance. Boy, that's key. If we're going to have excellence, we've got to have acceptance. And you have helped us do that. You have spent your money and your time and your commitment to make these kids feel like they belong a part of this program. And because of the grace... We've seen the glory. And the glory comes when a kid realizes, hey, I'm a part of this. I'm wanted. I'm accepted. And then they will go out and lay down everything they have to achieve that excellence. There's probably no team in recent history that has shown us that more than this team. Because it seems like perhaps we arose to a height of excellence and some people thought we were going a little bit downhill. But now we've got a resurgence. Now we're going back up and you guys have helped us to realize that. A doorway. I would say to you as boosters and as friends of this program, Help us keep that door open. Help us keep the entryway open so that others can come and experience grace and partake of what it means to be excellent in all that you do. Right before this banquet, I took a kid in another sport. He's standing out in the hall. His mom was in the hospital. His daddy died a couple of years ago. 
He's thinking about quitting the team because he feels like he's the oldest son and he should be taking care of his brothers and his family. And his coach called me and we talked to him and we said, son, you got to stay a part of this program. This program's here for people like you so you can experience good things. And we're here to do whatever it takes to help you stay in this program. Let's stay after it, my friends. We need a lot of grace. And that grace, I tell you, is going to lead us again to a higher level of glory. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this program, how it has through the years, reflected the very character of your being. A God who is gracious. A God who accepts unconditionally. And through that unconditional acceptance, inspires glory in human beings. Thank you for our coaches. Thank you for our boosters. Thank you for our administrators. Thank you for an open door that young people can come through called Dalton High Athletics, and especially in this case, Dalton High Football, to experience the good and great things in life through self-sacrifice, through teamwork, through taking responsibility for their actions, all because somebody really does love them and care about them, no matter who they are, where they're from, or what they've done. Help us to continue to keep this door open so that we can stay on this road to excellence. In Christ's name, amen. Thank you.